I offended a mall Santa, and now his elves are after me. Written by I Love All the Bacon. It started out as just a harmless but slightly mean gesture that definitely wasn't planned. A few of my friends and I went to our local mall to shop for Christmas presents and later take pictures with Santa. We stood in the line with screaming toddlers and antsy young kids for what felt like almost two hours until it was finally our turn. We all gathered around the mall Santa and I asked if I could sit on his lap for the picture that we were paying for. After a few awkwardly long moments, he turned cold eyes on me and said, Absolutely not. I thought that the picture in my head would be funny, and I wasn't entirely sure that he wasn't joking. So I tried to describe the hilarious image that I had thought of. He responded again with a hard, No. No. Way. The crying from the kids in the line was growing louder, so I just went along and smiled at the elf taking the picture, even though I was a bit upset. Once the picture was taken, I was feeling a little bit irritated and a bit more embarrassed at his outright refusal. Why had he been so cold and standoffish to me? Is it really only appropriate for mall Santas to pose with young kids? I know that my actions were childish, but I reacted without thinking. I stood in front of Santa and using my body to shield the kids in line. I tugged on Santa's beard a bit and whispered harshly, You're not that convincing of a Santa anyways, and not very jolly eater, butthole. His beard didn't budge much, but I saw his cheeks go red, and I quickly walked away while my friend dealt with the pictures. I went home that evening slightly embarrassed by my reaction, and I figured that was the end of it. But obviously, it wasn't. That night, I woke up to the screeching sound of a chair scraping against the hardwood floor, followed by light footsteps making their way through my apartment. My heart thudded in my chest as I jumped from my bed, grabbing my phone before locking myself in the bathroom. As I dialed 911, I could hear the footsteps moving down the hall towards my bedroom. <laughs> I guess shitty thin apartment walls are good for at least one thing, right? When the operator answered, I frantically blurred out that someone had broken into my apartment and gave my address. The footsteps were crossing my bedroom now towards the bathroom door, but there was something else. A high-pitched giggling. I pulled the phone away from my ear as both sounds drew closer, and soon it was nothing but giggling outside the bathroom door. Naughty, naughty, on the naughty list, came a hushed voice through the door. What? I called back, my voice sounding shrilled, even to my own ears. So naughty, we'll get cold. Another voice sounded out. Then the giggling resumed, two voices ringing out so clearly and yet so in sync. Come on, Jamie, open the door. One high-pitched voice called out, interspersed with the second voice saying, Jamie, naughty, naughty list. There was a horrible screeching, scratching on the door that sounded like fingernails on a chalkboard. Constant, non-stop. They were scratching against the door using something. Their fingernails? A tool? I had no idea. It was definitely horrible to listen to, but at the same time, one of the first thoughts in my mind was, if I would lose my security deposit over this. The crooning, giggling, and scratching lasted for at least a minute straight. I whispered to the operator that the intruder was right outside of the door, and the giggling suddenly turned into straight laughter. Oh, come on now, Jamie. Open the door! exclaimed one voice as the other said. Naughty list. Come on, we just want to talk about the naughty list. The doorknob began to jiggle slightly a bit, then full-on rattling. Constant rattling up and down as if trying to rip the doorknob from its proper place. I got down on my hands and knees and looked through the crack beneath the door. There were two people, two sets of feet, clad in what appeared to be green pointed shoes with a puffy ball on top. 
One of the set of feet hopped up and upon landing began to spin as the other feet started to dance a jig of some sort. Come out, come out wherever you are. One high-pitched voice cried out, accompanied by the constant giggling of the other. Suddenly the set of feet that was spinning stopped, and in just an instant, instead of feet, I was staring into a large, unblinking eye. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see you, Jamie. Come on out and play. I pulled my face away from the crack under the door quickly, backing up until I was against the bathtub. I could still see, could still sense the person peering at me. Knob fingers reached out from underneath the door, stretching towards me with unnaturally long, cracked yellow fingernails. Jamie, come on back here. It's all in the Christmas spirit. Open the door and accept that you're on the naughty list, why don't ya? I stayed silent for what was only minutes, but felt like a lifetime. I don't even know how long it was before something slid underneath the bathroom door and footsteps began to retreat through my bedroom and down the hallway. I think they're leaving, I said out loud, hoping that the operator could still hear me as I crawled and grabbed the paper. It was painted green with red and white Christmas ornaments painted on the front. When I opened the folded paper, scrawled out in beautiful alternating red and green calligraphy, was the following message. Someone has been naughty. Yes, you have. Not been nice. Santa was uncomfortable. You made him say no twice. And then you made a joke of him in front of kids today. But we elves love our Santa. So for this slight, you shall pay. I was dumbfounded, to say the least. When the police arrived, I showed them the note and told them about my admittedly rude response to the mall Santa. The police apparently questioned Santa extensively, but he swore that he wasn't close to the mall elves that he worked with. He also stated that the elves that he worked with wore red rounded toe shoes with a bow, not green pointed shoes with a puffball on top. I'm afraid to go to bed tonight.